Well, we're talking about millions of dollars in taxpayer money, all spent on Vanguard Academy. Critics say the more you look at Vanguard, the more it looks like a private school that simply masquerades as a public school so that Kingston leaders can be eligible to receive your money. Six miles away from the school where her siblings still attend, Amanda Ray sits and waits for her turn to speak. Probably most, if not all of them, are my family members. Her opinion is that Vanguard Academy in West Valley City needs to be shut down because it's run by members of the polygamous Kingston group. She says she left the religion seven years ago because she did not want to marry her cousin. We were taught to lie in the name of God. We can follow the laws of the land, but the laws of the Lord are higher. The Utah State Charter School Board has been looking into Vanguard Academy for more than six months, thanks to a series of Fox 13 investigations exposing the school's nearly 100% white population and the school's spending practices on Kingston affiliated businesses. I mean, it, it really doesn't take much of an investigation. Everybody looks the same. Everybody's got the same last name. We need to be transparent. These are public dollars. The board has reached many of the same conclusions. Lots of money transferred to Kingston companies and even a policy on the school's gym website stating, you must be a member of the LDCC in order to use the gym facility. As staff, uh, we don't know what LDCC stands for. We have no idea what that is. LDCC again stands for Latter-day Church of Christ, which is this church that we were all a part of. If you're already saying you have to be a member of a religion to even get into the gym, it's not public. The board was not satisfied with the explanations provided by Vanguard Academy's principal, Suzanne Owen. So they issued a formal warning asking the school to make meaningful changes in the name of transparency. I don't know, they're getting warnings, but I really feel like they should be on probation. I feel like there's already been so many red flags. Why do we keep dancing around it? You've been dishonest in our previous interviews with Fox 13. The board has asked for more transparency. Is there anything you'd like to say? Last December, Principal Owen was more talkative, but not very forthcoming about her involvement in the Kingston group. Well, I've heard of them, yeah. But you're not familiar with it? No. Th well, this, like I say, th this is a public charter school. Multiple past and current members have since confirmed she's one of the spiritual wives to Hiram Kingston, the leader's brother. It doesn't surprise me because she's probably not going to say anything until she gets the okay from the one above. And these former members say they have heard from friends and family. Students are being taught to recite Kingston prayers on campus. This is not okay. <laughs> The state needs to do a whole hell of a lot more. As part of today's meeting, the board decided it will continue investigating Vanguard Academy, especially because they still have concerns about the school's lack of minority students in a city as diverse as West Valley. Reporting in studio, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.